spouses. In marriages, people think, you know what, I didn't get the perfect spouse. I didn't get what was, you know, what I really wanted, what I really needed. And it's, it's, a, it's like sort of an imperfection that people have. And they think that, you know what, I, I made a mistake. I messed up. I got into a situation that I messed up. And when you go and you look at, at, let's say, two potential candidates for marriage, let's say you have two people that are awesome, amazing, they're like the best of the best in everything, and you put them together, you think, okay, this one's perfect, this one's perfect, put two perfect people together, and then you'll have a perfect marriage. But it doesn't work that way. And we see that people that deal with marriages, people that deal you know, in the world of relationships can see that, you know, that, that when things look so good on paper, like everything works out so amazing on paper, but when, when it comes to real life, it's a nightmare. It's, it's a horror scene of what goes on and the the reason for that is is that you know people think that we're supposed to be exactly alike in our spouse like like I'm supposed to be one way my wife is supposed to be exactly like me and if she's anything different then there must be I made a mistake and really you should be looking for similarities when you're dating you should be looking for similarities but at the end of the day you have to know that you're two separate people from two different upbringings two different mindsets you're different people and that's a good thing that's a very very good thing it's a very important thing that you're different people the reason being is that the two differences complement each other. When you have someone that has a strong point, another one that has a weak point, so the strong one sort of brings up the weak one in that certain character trait or a certain area in their life. And we sort of complement each other, and that's how we grow together. If you're both perfect, then yeah, it's not going to work. So meaning that the perfect marriage is the imperfect couple, if you understand what I'm saying. So the, the, the perfection lies in the imperfection. And this is really what people go and they think, you know, like I married someone like completely wrong for me. I married somebody, I messed up, you know, I made a mistake. The answer is no, no, no. You know, first of all, God doesn't make a mistake. If God put you two together, there's a reason why you guys are together. The imperfection in your spouse is the perfection for you. And that's going to help you grow to become what you need to become. We're there to help each other. And each, it's sort of like a puzzle. What's, what's strong in one is deficient in another. And some, some, not in everything, but in many things, you see how you sort of can complement each other and you sort of can grow together. And this is the way that God works. God works like a surgeon. It's painful when a surgeon does surgery. It's difficult. There's hardship in it, but it's only for our benefit. So it looks bad. It looks like you married somebody wrong. It looks like you messed up. But really, you married the most perfect person for you. You're married so right.